This time I'm doing a Royal Enfield Continental GT650. Um, we're making a seat that actually fits this. So this customer had put on this aftermarket kind of rear hoop thing. Um, it's plastic though, so you can't really weld anything. On top of that, he wants a uh, upswept uh, flat style seat. So uh, first things first, I'm gonna make a mold that works with this uh, frame width. The hoops uh, I already make should be the same. It's a nine inch uh, wide. It looks like eight inch center to center on that too. So that should be the same as what I already make. So we're gonna add an up sweep. We're gonna move this light. Uh, you can't see the light with his current seat on it anyway. So that's kind of weird. Anyway, so uh, first things first, I'm gonna make a pattern of the frame. The length I actually want it to be. Uh, we're gonna have a kicked up seat on this one. So now I have to transfer this to a mold and make uh, the first one. Let's get to work. front seat bracket. Uh, this is a prototype. I need to now uh, draw a nice one, take it over to my uh, CNC guy and have him punch out a whole bunch. The idea is the front hooks will go under. These mounts are going to go in the stock location. Something like this. Much better.
this one. One beer. Put it where it belongs. And weld it in, right? That's it. Getting prepped for welding, uh, disconnected the battery and fiberglass blanket just to keep sparks off this guy's bike. Uh, we're gonna weld this hoop on, clean it up and paint it and attach his LED light. Uh, we're doing distressed black with a uh, nickel, kind of a nickel pleated stitch on this thing. So let's get going.
just had to cut the hole for the, the two uh, studs that are going in. The front mount's going here. I have to rivet that in. To clean all the chalk off. Soapy water. Nothing fancy. Okay, I just got the seat brackets from the uh, laser cutter. Um, so these are gonna bolt to the bottom of the seat, the same as the factory. And then it will hook under the frame, the same as normal, and the seat will bolt down in the back. Uh, so these are the first two. Actually, there's one more over there. I'm gonna uh, just paint it for now and get it on the seat. And then if everything fits fine, make a ton more. So the front bracket goes here. Uh, we're gonna put it on after with three rivets. I've already got metal washers uh, on the other side of these holes. Once we pop them in, they're not going anywhere. Okay, so that's it. Um, you just put the front hook in, same as the factory seat. The back's gonna bolt through the factory holes that are already there. So all we did was remove the little pull pin tabs. Uh, this customer wants to empty the entire air box at some point, so that would have to come off anyway because it would look kind of weird with the little pin hanging down. So you put the front hook under, push it forward, and put this through the back two holes. Put the washer and the nut on the bottom right here, and you're good.